Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you are new around here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate it. Please subscribe, like, share, hit the little bell notification. If any spam comes in the comments, I mean, we all know what spam looks like. Make sure you block it, let me know. But I do my best to hold all my comments so that I can weed out. Like sometimes I'll spend 30 minutes deleting spam because some of the spam actually looks like comments and then when i read down further it'll say contact tony thomas you know here and i'm like this is a spam comment so um, i do my best to delete them but if they sneak through know that if it sounds too good to be true it is okay um so today i'm going to be sharing our real estate portfolio update so this was a request that i received i real estate to me now real estate is not for everybody but for me, it is. My husband and I, we are 100% on the real estate train. Um, and I can tell you that real estate, uh, and I've said this many times on the channel, real estate when done right should outlast you. You'll hear about different buildings and companies and factories and homes that have been in families for generations. And this is the, the path we're trying to create when you're talking about, you know, generational wealth. I just did a video talking about your children, saving for your children, investing for your children. And inside that video, I'm talking about our plan and strategy for leaving rental properties or, you know, helping them out when it comes to real estate. So check out that video if you haven't. But again, real estate to me, is like literally the best and most stable type of asset. Yes, even outside of the stock market, people will always need a place to live. And so I'm gonna to talk to you about the three different ways we do invest in real estate. I believe our real estate portfolio, just talking about equity or value, so the balance we owe minus the value of the properties, um, we are probably at around $700,000 when it comes to our real estate, okay? Again, it's uh, the value of the properties minus what we owe. We don't pay any PMI, okay? None, we don't pay any PMI and we have low interest rates. So that's one of the reasons why we're not in a hurry to pay off like the homes. Now I will say our main home, uh, my husband, when he does cash out his shares at his company, my husband works in the pharma sector, biopharma tech sector. So um, he does have shares in his company. One day he will cash out his shares. And one of the first things we'll do is to write a check to the bank to pay off our main home. In terms of the rentals, we're not in a hurry because like I said, they have low interest rates and they have tenants in them. So the tenants are paying down a mortgage. Um, so that's a couple of reasons why we do love um, real estate. But I want to talk to you about the three separate ways we do invest. So the first one is, is like how most people do it. You own the physical property. One of the easiest ways to get into real estate and how we got into it was just owning a house, right? owned the townhouse and what we did is that we kept it and we just bought another house so usually when you go that route the bank wants you to have like six months worth of expenses for both okay just to make sure that you're covered and that they're protecting themselves did you know that they will consider your retirement accounts as like you know six months worth of expenses so that's what happened with us we had a 401k the 401k alone was enough they saw it and it was like okay because why you can withdraw from your 401k if it's needed i want to suggest you do that but you know, life happens and we don't want to say we'll never do anything when we may okay and so um they'll usually ask you okay if you want to keep your townhouse and maybe upgrade to another house you have to have six months worth of expenses you have to have stellar credit i mean i know dave ramsey is not on the credit train i'm telling you if you want to get into physical real estate you need to have great credit, okay? Um, having 20% down payment was also key because you're going without PMI. Now, 20% is a lot of money. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. But I'm telling you, we got started with bonuses. Um, bonuses, first of all, bonuses and tax refunds were a big catalyst into us getting out of debt. We kind of saw the light at age 30. Um, it was a big catalyst in helping us to invest more, really using any extra money we get to do something better with it, right? And so, um, you know, physical property is a great way. Now, a lot of people don't wanna be landlords, but they have property management firms out here where you can use, and they will do it for you, okay? So um, I, fun fact, I actually manage our rental properties and they're under a separate LLC, okay? Uh, but I manage them. But when we get this third one, um, we're gonna transition to a property manager company because I just can't do everything. I already wear like 10 hats, so. Um, 
yeah so that's how we dabble into physical real estate and we do get our rent paid to us every single month even during the pandemic we do have a tenant that pays late but he's just a late payer he takes care of the the house he has painted and upgraded things i mean he he literally loves that house and thinks that house is his and that's what you want as a landlord you want people to take care of it you want people to believe that that's their home because they'll pay you and like i said they'll save you a lot of repair work because they're not tearing up um, the properties. So moving on to REITs, so real estate investment trust. So this is another way you can get into real estate indirectly through the stock market. So realty income is probably my favorite dividend paying REIT. Okay. Realty income is an investment firm that actually owns and manages different commercial retail properties. Okay. So the targets you go into the Walmarts, the Lowe's, the Home Depots, they don't own those buildings. Target doesn't own the building at the end. They lease those buildings from firms like Realty Income. And so the great thing about it is that Realty Income will pay their shareholders, literally, and all REITs are required to do this, 90% of their profits. So every single month, my husband and I get a nice size paycheck from Realty Income. It usually pays between the 15th and 16th of every month. But we get that paycheck. And so that's why I've been talking about building up your shares in these companies, because when the dividend pays out, guess what happens? Your it's bigger. So if you reinvest it as well, I did a video talking about the dividend snowball method. And basically that's talking about if you get a dividend in realty income, reinvest it back into the position so that you can get a higher dividend, you know, higher share size. And then next month, you'll get a bigger dividend payment. So it, it snowballs into something bigger. Reinvest your dividends, continue your, your contributions into the company, and you'll notice your dividend payments getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Many of you are believers now in this because you have told me, Shalise, I started out with a couple of cents, now I'm at a dollar. I was at a couple of dollars, now I'm at 10, 20, 30 dollars. Some of you said even like 80 dollars. I'm like, come on y'all, I love, I love, I love it. This is what this is all about. So I like Realty Income, there's Main Street Capital. These are all companies that are all REITs that own real estate and you can get it to it that way. Um, now, I know there are some REITs that invest in mortgages or like residential. I don't really go that route. I like commercial real estate more and commercial real estate that we have used or we will use during economic downturns or recession. So like I was still going to Target during the pandemic. I was still going to the Dollar Tree. I was my husband like stayed in Lowe's because we've been up painting and just doing things with the deck and the shed and just all different things to the house. So, you know, we, you know, we love the fact that Realty Income owns some of those buildings, even some of the fun places like restaurants or movie theaters, you know, these are some of the places that we patron. And so it's like, you know, it's nice to have ownership in those commercial properties indirectly. And you could do that through REITs. So you don't have to worry about trying to go out and buy a whole commercial property. You can do it through Realty Income, for example. And I did a video talking about Realty Income, like all the details about it. It'll be somewhere up on the screen. Make sure you guys go check that out because it's my favorite dividend paying stock. Okay. Not fund or ETF stock. Okay. You got to know the difference between the stock and the fund. If you don't check out my beginner one-on-one -on -one playlist. Um, and then the final way that we are into real estate is through private investing. So the stock market is not private, that's public, but, um, Fundrise, for example, and I've talked about Fundrise a lot on this channel. Fundrise allows you to be a private investor in like apartment complexes. Um, the reason why I like going the residential route privately is because I see actually what the complex is. I know where it is. Like Fundrise will tell you the location. They will tell you how many units. They will tell you how much they have invested in it, the returns. And I like knowing that. I like knowing, okay, we have this, we're invested in Fundrise and this particular fund, this fund owns, okay, this apartment complex in Orlando. It owns this apartment complex in Virginia and Atlanta. It owns this particular apartment complex in Michigan and Minnesota. I can see it. I can see the apartment complex. I can actually copy and paste it into Google and pull up, okay, this is how much the rents are. Uh, this is like the types of tenants that are here. Again, I love that because, I mean, that's a dream for my husband and I is actually to own like an apartment, like a smaller multifamily type of apartment building. And so this is a great way for, for us to be introduced 
um, to that. I do like fun rides. I think you can start with them like 10 bucks. Um, I have a tutorial that I did talking all about fun rides. Like I said, you'll see clips up on the screen. Um, I have my referral code down below. It doesn't cost you anything to sign up. Just put 10 bucks in and you will get, you know, a reward for signing up with my referral link and you can get started. Like one, I was talking to somebody recently and they were like, Chili's, my rent keeps going up. They didn't know that Funrise, one of the funds on Funrise was actually the owner of their apartment complex. So they were actually to put some money, they put some money inside of this fund so that they could become like a small piece of an owner inside of their apartment complex. And guess what? Funrise also pays the dividends, okay? So I'm telling you guys, the hole gets deep, okay, when it comes to investing. And what I learned about things, I always try to put it out there to everyone else. So Funrise is pretty good. We have been having a great time with it. Again, if you want to sign up, my referral link is down below. And all of my referral links to everything that I talk about on the channel, it doesn't cost you anything. I do appreciate all of you who use it for Robinhood and M1 Finance, um, Fetch Rewards. I mean, you guys are really, really supportive and I do appreciate it so much. So those are the three ways we invest in real estate, actual property, through REITs in the stock market and as private investors. So let me know down below, like which one of these types of real estates are you into? Are you into all of them? Are you into none of them? Do you want to get into them one day? Let me know down below. I do love chatting with you guys and talking about this because real estate can be, you know, a little scary, especially when we're the first ones in our families to really, you know, embark on this journey. But I'm telling you guys, it works, okay? For me, it works. I'm a big fan of real estate. Like I said, it's not for everybody, but it's for my husband and myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the little bell notification button, like tingle it, so that you don't miss an upload every time I post a video. Follow me over on Instagram. I post more often over there. And again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.